All right, guys, I'm here with Ryan Nowak, Principal Software Engineer at Microsoft. How are you doing? Good, I'm great. I'm excited to be here. I'm Ryan. I work on the ASP.NET Core team at Microsoft, where I do a bunch of things related to .NET Core and ASP.NET Core, and we're here talking about Blazor. Yeah, so your talk was about, was an introduction to Blazor, right? Yeah, it's an introduction to Blazor, and I wanted people to understand what it is and what some of the options are, and then understand a little bit about the programming model and like how to use it, how to get started building apps. So what are the key takeaways from your talk? Like what exact, what is Blazor? Can you give us a Sure. Like so Blazor is a UI framework and like a whole component-based uh, model for building HTML and web-based applications that run on the client or feel like a client-side spa. So you can use .NET to build an app that runs in the browser or runs on the server and feels like a browser-side, client-side app without any plugins or like non-standard technologies. It's all based on web standards and all works in all browsers. Nice, so what advantages does it offer like against other solutions? Yeah, so one of the advantages of, of Blazor is like if you're a .NET developer or like your company has a lot of experience with .NET or you just like .NET and you wanna use .NET, like now you've got a way to build really rich and interactive UI uh, with the tools that you know and the tools that you already like. So it's kind of like, well, .NET is here now, you can build apps that run in the browser, just like you could build apps that run on the server before. All right, so how can we attract people to like start using Blazor? Um, what do you think? How can we make them do the switch? So I think that for Blazor, it appeals to a lot of people because they already like and, and know the .NET tool chain. So if you've been in a position where you've used .NET on the server or .NET in the back end, and JavaScript on the front end, and that's bothered you because of having two tool chains in your organization, Blazor is a great option for you. If you're a JavaScript programmer and you haven't really given .NET a try, now is a great time. Uh, the tools are good, the ecosystem is good, um, the runtime and the languages are really good, and to, to be honest, to be attracting those people, we're just doing everything open source and cross-platform and trying to make it as good as we can. If you're familiar with React or Angular, you'll probably like Blazor and find it to be kind of similar. All right, so to finish up, just one last personal question. So you're a developer. Right now, what technology does excite you the most? Like, is there anything that catches your attention? The thing that I'm really interested in right now is machine learning. I don't really know that much about it, but it's just become such a big thing in the industry and there's all kinds of applications for it. So like Visual Studio uses machine learning to give you IntelliSense that's like more accurate and like able to predict what you wanted. And I, I was skeptical of this feature when I first saw it and then I tried it out and like, it's amazing, it's awesome. So like, I kind of want to learn how that works. Like I want to know everything about that and I want to try creating something on my own. So are you going to do it? Uh, is it on your plans? I don't know, you know, I need to, I need to set up some time to do like a personal, uh, a personal project or something like that because it's not directly related to my work at this point. But Let's hope you I can find some out. free time there. Yeah, thank you. All right, thank you, Ryan, for being here. Thank, thank you, you for so your much. talk. It was very interesting and thank you for giving us some time to answer these questions. You're welcome. It was a pleasure having you here. Thanks. Thank you.